and we've got one more guest who's going to come up uh, real quick, and he's going to um, he's going to speak just for a few minutes. One of the attorneys who's uh, who's worked with us on a, on a couple of things. Most recently, the one that got Pam uh, not Pam uh, Michelle Wu to drop the vaccine uh, passports in Boston. This was the man who put it together. First of all, um, if it wasn't for Pam, I would not be here tonight. I want everyone to know how important it is to organize. Um, there's so many lawyers in Boston, there's so many lawyers in Massachusetts, and you can't, they're all gutless. <laughs> they're all about the money, they're all about not doing the right thing, and you all know, a lot of you have had issues, you go, you seek out an attorney, and it's, immediately they want to talk about the price, and not about you, and not about how they can help you, or how they can make a difference. And fortunately, I'm a criminal defense attorney, and I'm used to arguing the law, the Constitution. I'm, I'm yeah. used to get into holding the, the police and the prosecutor, I'm, I'm holding them to the rules. So what happened is, as you all know, right, we went through the government telling us in America what we can and can't do. Now, obviously, you know, I went to law school, I didn't do stand-up, and you guys heard the stand-up. <laughs> But one of the things that gets me, right, and I know you've all seen it, is you're in your car by yourself even today. You stop at a red light. You look to your right and you see the person by themselves in the car wearing a mask. I mean, really, brainwashed by CNN and the government. So everyone here tonight, right, is here, like Pam said, because you're exercising your free will. And that's, that's what America is supposed to be. And look, I didn't want to be the attorney. I have two kids, I have a family, I have a wife. I didn't want to be the guy, right, the crazy white, right, white, right wing racist who had to bring the lawsuit against Mia Wu. I wanted another lawyer to do it. I would have been happy to say, yeah, you do it and I'll support you and I'll cut you a check. Nobody would stand up. No one. And I have been advocating for a long time, the way to beat them is to say, what authority do you have? Right. What law is there? So when this first happened and we were locked down and I couldn't do anything, I happened to be watching Fox News. And a guy, I don't really, well, I don't watch it anymore. But I'm lucky I was watching it because I don't agree with the guy who was Judge Napolitano. But he made a great point though, I was shocked. And he said, because at the time I had a client in my hometown that allegedly had COVID and they were supposed to be on lockdown. And I got a call and said, Rich, one of the neighbors ratted me out and I got a letter from the town nurse saying that I'm going to be fined $500 a day if I don't comply because I'm not staying home. And I happen to hear Judge Napolitano say, you know something? If your town, the mayor or whoever, they have no authority under the Constitution to mandate these rules. We didn't vote these people in. They're not the legislature. 
And that kind of hit me. And I wrote a letter back and I basically said to the town, what authority do you have to mandate this? It's not in the Constitution. And if you find my client each day, we're going to sue you. Yeah. Well, the next thing I knew, right, we got a letter. Okay, well, just tell them um, they're all set. <laughs> So we started to look into, we got lots of calls about people losing their jobs, about be, people being forced to take the shot or you're fired. Comply or you don't have a job. And my office has handled a lot of these appeals where people have been, they lost their unemployment. And what I've been finding is, even though the um, appeals, the officers for the state, they're all hostile to us, we're beating them on the law. Yeah. And we're getting them. You know, there, there was a state, a, a couple of cases in Mass, and one of the, one of the cases was um, state troopers that didn't want to take the vaccine. And before I filed my federal suit, they filed in state court, and I predicted they're going to lose. Why are they going to lose in state court? because the judge is right across from the mayor's office and they have lunch together, and it's not fair. So they lost, but luckily, all right, there's a person on the appeals court in Massachusetts, and she gave a ruling that helped. She gave a ruling that said, you know, your employer can't force you, they can't say to you, Take the shot or you don't have a job, because that's no choice. And that, believe it or not, is, goes against the Constitution. And we got a good ruling, and I said, we need to challenge the authority. What authority does Mayor Wu have? And at the time, it was worse, you guys probably don't remember, but the reason I'm standing here is because of Pam. Because phase two or phase three of Mayor Wu's wonderful policy was let's everyone vaccinate their five to 11 year olds. And I gotta tell you, I don't care what anyone says, I hired the guy who created the mRNA vaccine. My office hired him. He testified in court and he said, point blank to me, I got kids, a healthy 16 year old child should not be vaxxed. So, I heard Pam. I just happened to, in fact, um, my, my, she likes me to refer to her not as assistant, but my secretary. <laughs> Diana. I had come in from court one day and she said, listen, you gotta see this. She had hooked up at the conference table a laptop, and it was Pam. And Pam, it's like I was talking to myself. She said, we need to organize. That point she made about 80 million people, yeah, they're gonna listen to 80 million. If you all stand together, they can't win. And you know, it blew my mind because I couldn't understand like these state troopers and law enforcement and Pam talked about Nuremberg and the thing that struck me as an attorney and I, I'm a student of World War II and Nuremberg was holding the Nazis accountable right for war crimes and every single soldier that got up there and they said why did you do what you did and they go well we were just following orders that doesn't work and so what, what struck me is these police officers right a lot of people in this room, including Diana, held signs, back the blue, back the police, right? We believe in justice, we believe in law and order. And what did the police do, right? BLM shows up, they start the fight, the people holding signs for the police push back and they get arrested. And I'm saying to the police, what are you doing, right? And how did, when this first happened and they're told to do these things, if every single police officer in the country resigned, that would be the end, there would be no mandate. But they won't. 
So there are some good police officers out there, and I'm representing some, and they, they refused to take the vaccine, and they did lose their jobs, and it's sad. But the point is, right, Pam's philosophy of getting everyone together, strength in numbers, stand up to them. They don't have the law on their side. They don't have the authority on their side. They don't have the Constitution on their side. And as this has been playing out at the very beginning, a lot of bad rulings were coming out based on poli policy, political hacks, judges that were appointed. But you know what's starting to happen is, like she said, we're starting to win. Yeah. And I don't care what anyone says, I would not have filed a federal lawsuit against Mayor Wu if Pam didn't back it. And not only did she back it, right, when we filed, she's right, it was filed on a Friday, because I filed it, Diana and I, at 2 o'clock. At 6 o'clock that night, Mayor Wu had a press conference and said, we're dropping the mandate. Now, I have heard from many of my colleagues, many lawyers that didn't have the balls to get in the fight, and they said, well, she was going to do that anyways. Well, did you ever hear the old saying, don't make a federal case out of it? Because, boy, I guess it's just coincidence that she got served at two, and she threw up her hands at six and said, I'm done. So that was entirely orchestrated and backed by Make America Free Again. can take credit for that victory. So, I'm not going to stay up any much longer because you guys went through the uh, comedians and, and uh, the broken up internet, but the, bot the bottom line is everyone in this room here can make a difference, and we need numbers, and you need to go home, and you need to tell your friends, and your co-workers, and the guy with the, wearing the mask mowing the lawn. <laughs> really to cut the shit and stand up for the United States and the Constitution. Thank you, everyone. Richard Chambers! Thank you very much.